Tonight, families who lost loved ones in the Virginia Beach mass shooting are not giving up in their search for justice and answers. 13 News Now was the first to tell you today, attorney and former lieutenant governor of Virginia, Justin Fairfax, now represents the estates of four people killed on May 31st, 2019. This news comes after a state delegate claims she got her hands on the gunman's personal laptop. Angelique Aaron Talk is live in the studio with us tonight after speaking with Fairfax about his role in assisting the families and the situation surrounding that laptop. Angelique? It's been more than three and a half years since a Virginia Beach City employee shot and killed 12 people and wounded several others inside Municipal Center Building 2. Justin Fairfax tells me all options, legal or otherwise, are under consideration when it comes to reclaiming that laptop in question, as well as extending support to surviving family members. Attorney and former Lieutenant Governor of Virginia Justin Fairfax says he now represents the families of Kate Nixon, Michelle Missy Langer, Joshua Hardy, and Lakita Brown. Many of them have felt demoralized. They have felt as if uh, their government and others have turned their backs on them. Fairfax tells me he wants the family's cries heard on the local and state level. My interest in this case is getting justice for these families broadly and for all of these families. And so this issue around the laptop then arose. It really was shocking. Virginia Beach police maintain they never knew about or found a laptop belonging to the mass shooting suspect after the initial sweep of his home. Earlier this week, Delegate Kelly Converse Fowler publicly announced possession of a laptop she claims belonged to the gunman. It appears to be something um, that could be relevant. Fowler told me a deed transferred ownership of the gunman's condo to the estate of one of the shooting victims. While cleaning it out to sell on the market, the shooting victim's sister and a former city employee supposedly found a hard drive, discs, and a laptop. The former city employee, who in an email said she can't trust city officials, decided to recently give the electronics to Fowler. Now, Fairfax wants the laptop returned to his client. It's lawfully owned uh, by one of my clients, but most importantly, uh, again, is a symbol of the fact that the full truth has not yet been publicly revealed in this matter, and these families have not gotten justice. Fairfax says what they do have right now is a copy of the laptop's hard drive. They're trying to get it, quote, analyzed and preserved. As of this uh, time, we do not know yet whether Fowler will give the laptop back to Fairfax's client. Our request to speak with the state delegate today went unanswered. And in a previous interview with 13 News Now, Delegate Fowler expressed confidence that the laptop belonged to the shooter. She says she found pictures of him and at least one expense report dated May 7th, 2019.